are turned in here tonight. That is what they will be. EA Sports. It's in the game. I'm excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kick. He doesn't always intend on landing it, but he beats up your arm with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, with similar height and reach. All right, now to get us started, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting! In the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 126 pounds. Fighting out of Alexandria, Minnesota, the Gorilla. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting at Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it fun. side against another guy who can really do it all. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you can see him drive his shit into his opponent. Oh, misses with the jab. Look at him drive his shit into his opponent's body with that body. 
lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Oh, he heard a bell with a jab. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. He's just unable to quite find that range. Bleeding from his cheek now. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch landed. He is all about that left kick to the body. Going back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Down. All right, under three minutes now to go in round one. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to hold him. Yep, there you absolutely. Go. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high level grappler. You don't see that very often. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it. And you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC. But you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Lee. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. And he landed the right hand there. He got the turtle in that kick. Leg kick. Nice punch by Lee. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Back and forth we go here. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. 20 seconds to go in round one. Big kick lands. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Whoa, whoa, he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. And what a round! So what a round it was for him, particularly when it comes to those body kicks, DC. Landed those body kicks every single time he threw them. Every time he decided body kick is going to be the strike, it landed. His opponent needs to do something different, or this fight is not going to last much longer. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Now connects with the right. Oh, just misses with the kick. 
man, that cut is only getting worse. Canvas cleanup guy's gonna be busy. Lands the right hand. Straight right hand now, just misses. Trying to do damage now with the kick, that's a miss. Man, he just keeps on coming with these shots to the liver, looking to buckle him once again. Got him down to his knee earlier in the fight with a liver shot. He knows he's hurt there, and he'll continue to target that area. Good strategy. Nice punch land over the top. Straight right, he misses. Oh, nice, nice. I mean, he's cutting him down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Big body kicks. Oh, big head kick. Big powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Three minutes. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing. Oh, that was a big takedown. He's just the one that's going to break him. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, we'll see how he chooses to defend here. Nice job by him there to move into half guard. Not much resistance from the bottom fight. He's just too good in this position. Look for ground and pound immediately. Close guard. Back to the feet now. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Oh, that's a nice strike. And both guys really throwing with authority. That kick blocked by Lee. Left eye. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. And there comes the separation now. Oh, got to the gut. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch landed in the perfect spot. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, wow! Head kick. Oh, straight right. Nice knee to the midsection there. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Ten seconds remain in round two. things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance, he took it, he landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again.
Third round underway. Good punch. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty. Whoa! Work from the bottom, tags him with the punch. Well, you know I don't like the D very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in the gi at some point in his life to the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week too. <laughs> Kick to the body now, that one won't land. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found the set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Oh, big shot land. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Oh, man. That, oh, oh, man. man. Shot to the body. He's trying to keep it to poke face, but he's hurt very, very bad. Well, DC, no denying he's winning this fight. And it's got to feel pretty good if you're a fighter. You put in the work, and it all comes together on fight. When it all comes together, nothing feels better to go out there and implement the game plan that you guys have worked on in training camp, and it goes as desired. Nothing feels better. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. So a huge Ladies result and a seminal team moment team for him here tonight as he gets the big knockout win. That could hold up as one of the better KOs of the year. Oh, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. <laughs> I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.